Hello everyone, this is RaySpace and welcome to my first video in the full release version of Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. I did a live stream in it yesterday on release day. There were plenty of issues on release day as far as the servers were concerned, but I got a good stream in, managed to sneak one in in between the queuing. Uh, but uh, today, this is day two, and I was able to get in without any problems. And my goal for today first is to test out some third-party planes that aren't normally in the sim. So we're not going to blame the sim if these don't work. Uh, these are other developers. Uh, these are not planes that were included in. And I've, of course, had to put them into the community folder. I took them from directly from the Flight Sim 2020 folder and put them into the community folder for Flight Sim 2024. But first... I had to move the community folder because by default it's on C drive and I don't have much space on C drive. So if you're wondering how to do that, you go into your users folder. This is for Windows only. I don't know about other systems. I've got on Windows, I got through Steam for reference. Uh, so you go into users folder, into your user folder, app data, into roaming, into the Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 folder, and then you'll see a file called user config.opt open user config.opt in some notepad program and at the bottom of it it will have a line that tells you where your installed packages folder is change that and i can say that works because i changed that and then put the planes into the new folder and the planes show up so that works all fine uh, some of these planes are actually from the marketplace, like the F-111 is from the marketplace, but the MiG-21 is from the community folder. And these are by the same developer. It's interesting that they both have the same sort of problem as far as their name is concerned. Uh, so that's AVSMHD slash GKS with those planes. Uh, those are the only ones that have that name problem. This is a marketplace one, uh, the F-117, and that uh, we'll check out in this video, but the first one I want to check out in this video is the Heepler F-14. So, let me just type in F-14. I'm sure plenty of people will be interested in the India Fox Techo Heepler F-14, so let's see how that goes. Uh, now, yes, I want to configure it. So there's two variants, it says, and that's the A and B, I think. But I don't know if the variance thing works quite right here. Okay, it is the A and the B, I think. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't say that here. So the a lot of the labeling isn't going to be right, I think. I like how gear is big wheels. Alrighty. Uh, liveries, we've got a few. I'm gonna go with the Jolly Rogers one here. I don't know if custom liveries will work. We'll see. All right. And I figure we should fly out of Miramar. Now I'm going to assume that some of these developers are going to fix things like Heepler and all. Our India Fox Techo. If you haven't played Flight Sim 2024, um, I would recommend first of all setting your rolling cache to somewhere other than C Drive. Uh, that would be important. I don't think you're going to have enough room on C Drive for the rolling cache. And the rolling cache is where all the stuff goes. So, we see it's like this in here. It looks the same as it did in 2020. But we'll see if it works. Ah, okay. So, first problem. Uh, I don't think the Copa Jester is working at all. The Jester menu is sort of there. You can sort of see it, but it's not showing up very well, is it? I can see the options, but the audio isn't popping up. Well, that would be the most complicated part of this business. Whoa. Speed 100. Oh, Jester is working. Oh, gosh. 
Well, the big wheels are not big wheeling enough for me. It could just be me. It could just be me. But I think the ground handling could do with some tweaking. Sounds are fine. So, for some things, Jester seems to uh, respond, but the, to the menu stuff, Jester doesn't respond. All right, Afterburner. The wings are sweeping fine. Okay, on to San Diego. It's got sort of a shimmy thing going. My hand is not on a stick there. Uh, if I leave my hand off of the stick for a while, it'll stop shimmying. But when it has input, even though I keep my input constant, it shimmies a little bit. Okay, San Diego. Dockside on San Diego looks good. There was a mod for the docks at San Diego. Uh, it's still photogrammetry, so it might still need it to make the ships look crisp. That was a sound. I don't know what sound that was. I don't think we're past the speed of sound right there. But. Or maybe that was Jester having issues. So performance in the game is pretty good. I mean, we are at a fairly high speed and passing through photogrammetry stuff, but if the internet isn't keeping up, it's going to be tough. While I was streaming, it was a lot harder because I was also streaming. Uh, here I'm just recording, so the internet and all the scenery is having an easier time to keep up. I think I'll just land at San Diego International. The air brake is working very vigorously. Landing gear. Uh oh. I think I've lost more power than I thought. Um, okay, for some reason my engines died on me. Well, that's not good. I'm a little bit too far away from the airport to survive. No! It was going so relatively well. I wonder why there's some stuff rendering below me. I can't pull up now. Okay, something in Flight Sim 2024 that does for some reason is this back on track thing. Um, wait, uh, so you don't get the black screen of death, you just get zoomed back to some other point in time. I don't know how I feel about that, but in this case, it'll let me try out the landing again. The wing sweep should probably unsweep by now. Hmm. Is the are the wings gonna be stuck swept, or are they gonna unsweep? Because at this speed, they should probably unsweep. So I'll try and turn more gently. Maybe it didn't like the way I turned before. But I think the problem coincided with when I lowered the landing gear. 
So if the wings don't unsweep, it means that some planes are not compatible with this new back on track feature. And I think that's the case with this one. The wings just aren't unsweeping. Well, I'm gonna lower the landing gear. Oh, okay. So lowering the landing gear is what kills the engines for me. Hmm. Uh, that's just with this plane. I've flown other planes without that being a problem. So now my wings are swept. My landing gears are down. And it's the throttle quadrant I have that. Well, it's only mapped to one thing. The number indicates how many things it's mapped to. And yeah, if we search by input, let me just go search by input, that one. It's, uh, oh, engine auto stop. Well, okay, maybe the number isn't that. Okay, engine auto stop is not something I ever want to have happen. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I can shut down engines if I want to. Okay, so that's the problem. No, um, get rid of that. So, uh, I guess maybe the one doesn't mean it's mapped to one thing. It means that it's mapped to one extra thing. Because uh, that one went away in that case. So, uh, and then let's check search input gear up. Mm -hmm. Search input. Search by input. Okay, it's not letting me search by input now. Uh, maybe because I moved there. Okay, there we go. Auto start engine was mapped to gear up. Great. But I don't know how the wing sweep is going to go. I'll probably have to manually unsweep it with the flaps again. Okay, manually unsweeping by lowering flaps. I, maybe I should just go with Coronado Island? Oh, we don't have the E bracket because we're darling not in landing landing mode. Shuddering a bit. Okay. Oh, that is not supposed to do that. Okay, I'll have to change that. That's supposed to be the brakes. <laughs> oh, great. I don't have the brakes mapped properly. Uh, okay. Well, I don't have the brakes mapped, so that was the main problem. Okay. So forgive the skid off of the runway, but we're back. And uh, yes, problem solved as far as... Oh, 75 degree flaps it calls this. Well, I guess that's because of the wing sweep complicating matters, so... We probably shouldn't take that as a problem. Oh, the canopy's gone? Oh! I didn't even notice. Did Jester actually eject? I think Jester ejected. Things have happened. Anyway, we'll set that aside for now. Let's try a different plane. I think we will try the F-16 by SC Designs. Well, I had my own custom livery, so I wanted to see if that worked. And it seems like it's showing up at least. So that's one other mystery, whether custom liveries work. Let's try somewhere completely different. Uh, in the live stream, somebody asked if I could do London and a few other places. Let's try London with this, even though the F-16 like totally doesn't belong there. Um, we'll try Heathrow. Let's see how that looks. Now, the F-16 has potentially conformal tanks. I don't know if those are going to show up. Okay, well, let's see... Fuel... They have to make you click a whole bunch of stuff to get to your fuel, which is great. Okay, um... Yeah, the conformal tank. That's what I want. 
10 gallons? I don't think that's right. Oh, but maybe... I don't know what it's trying to do there. Can I just type that in? Well, I, I'm guessing that they're not going to show up. And that's just going to be how it is. Quick fill, quick fill also doesn't make them show up. Interestingly, in the corner, we don't have the map there. But maybe that's only when I take off. I don't need to engage the afterburner separately. Cockpit is looking its normal self. No wiggles on. Ooh! Oh gosh, I crashed. Anyway, um, no wiggles on the ground, unlike the Heepler slash India Fox Echo F14. But maybe the wiggles on the ground are more accurate. Yeah, there's just gonna be airplanes flying into airplanes all day long, I think. So, there's a flyover of Heathrow, I don't know exactly how it's supposed to look, so... Those who are Heathrow specialists can judge for themselves. Well, it's a little bit jerky as far as the frames are concerned. I've got the LSS on, but let me double check that. Now, I'm in. Uh, let me tell you my stats. This will be a good uh, time for that. The LSS and Ultra right now is what I'm going for. And I've got i5 12600K, and I've got an RTX 4070, and then 64 gigs of RAM. I'm running it at 1080p because I'm recording at 1080p, so. And I decided to record at 60 frames per second. Okay, those buildings there. Uh, there's some extra spikes there. Uh, it's not rendering. Oh, uh oh, that's a problem. Oh shoot, that's a bigger problem. Whoa. Okay, maybe I should slow down a bit. <laughs> uh, it might be dangerous to turn her all over the place. It's not loading all the things anyway yet. It has to. We have to cache everything. I've set my rolling cache right now to 100 gigabytes. That's just because of the space that I have available. So I can't. I would like to increase that, but it probably needs to incre be increased. But right now, that's what I've got. So London. Now this is the first time I'm flying at London, so that's how it loaded when I'm not streaming. If I was streaming, it would take more time to load all the textures and everything.
but presumably that's the first time only. Hopefully you'll save it for later. They don't seem to have a manual cash option. I did not see a manual cash option, which also worries me. Because I would like a manual cash. Oh gosh. Can I? Woo! Okay, we did it. We did it, folks. Oh, that's a thing. Okay, well, I'm not gonna land this one. Oh, it's gotten all fuzzy here. Anyway, that was London and the F-16. It seems to be flying well, but it's got issues like with the conformal tanks. Yeah, it always had... The conformal tanks were always iffy. But... I, I actually brought the Spitfire in, and I didn't see it in the menu. Uh-oh, shoot. Okay, well, it's fine. I wanted to end this one anyway. Let me check. Yeah, I brought the fire, Flying Iron Spitfire. Did it actually make it? Okay, it did. I should have flown the Spitfire there. I'll do the World War II airplanes. I've got three World War II airplanes. I'll do that in a separate video. We'll just stick to jet fighters in this case. Or, fighter is a strong word for the F-117. But, uh, we're going to try the F-117 next. And that'll be a video with these three planes. The F-14, F-16, and F-117. F-117, I'll... We really should do, like, Area 51, shouldn't we? Um... Hey, if I type in Area 51, what, what does it do? Oh, it doesn't do anything. You guys are no fun anymore. Anyway, um, but I think I should probably fly somewhere uh, that somebody requested yesterday. I'm gonna fly the F-117 at Mexico City. Because that was requested yesterday, so let me try that. No, actually, Area 51 was as well, but it's top secret, so I can't show it on on video. <laughs> That's my excuse. Mexico oh, this has the red, white, and blue bottom. Ready at runway two tree left, departing straight oh, out. Oh, that's eccentric. It's very quiet. It's like it's stealthy. Very quiet right now. Patrol up. No. It might be too quiet. It's just using one of the stock uh, HUD, uh, sorry, multifunction display things. Okay. I think its sounds are not working. I'm pretty sure, stealthy though it might be, it's not meant to be this quiet in here. Don't know what the caution is, probably because I've got it throttled all the way up. It's having trouble getting off the ground here. Go on. There's a very colorful district in Mexico City, and I somehow doubt they've got that, but um, I don't know exactly where the location is for me to check. I'm gonna say it looks marginally better than in 2020, but, you know, Mexico City is a huge city and deserves some love. There was an add-on. No, there are many add-ons for Mexico City, but some of them were too taxing because they were full photogrammetry and huge. And the ones that were paid for, I didn't get, unfortunately, in 2020. Yeah. So I'm gonna say that the F-117. Now the F-117, I didn't put it into the community folder. This was actually through the marketplace. Um, and so it was installed automatically in 2024. I didn't install it. Uh, so this is a marketplace one that they decided to let me have <laughs> because they haven't given me all my marketplace ones, that's for sure. Even the ones that are like famous flyers and stuff like that. So if you're wondering, uh, I do not have all the planes I'm supposed to have. Uh, I had 18 of the famous flyers slash uh, local legends, etc. that were included in 
the Aviator Edition. So there are 30 extra planes in the Aviator Edition. I didn't get the Aviator Edition, but I have 18 of those planes already. That's one reason I wouldn't get the Aviator Edition, because I have all the planes that I wanted from the Aviator Edition anyway. Uh, they gave me some of those planes, but not all of those planes. So they've given me... Uh, I'll have to take a look at the list and everything. Like the Latte Co Air three, uh, 631, I have that. And I'm trying to think of all the ones that I do have. But actually, maybe it's quicker if I tell you which ones I don't have. Uh, the one that was most glaring was the AN-225. That one I did not have. And then uh, the Aero AE-45 slash 145 don't have that even though that's supposed to be part of the aviator edition i do have it through the marketplace the beachcraft model 17 and 18 the dhc4 caribou the dornier doj do31 and dox the fokker f7 the ford trimotor the gb the junkers uh, ju 52 and then the savoia marchetti s55 so those are supposed to be part of the Aviator Edition, and I do have them through the Marketplace, but they were not included in the... Inst uh, I, I, I don't have them. So, uh, I'll have to check the official aircraft list to see if I'm missing some of those. I probably am, uh, but I'm not sure. So things aren't going exactly right as far as that stuff's concerned. Anyway, this is Mexico City, but... Yeah, we're missing some sounds as far as the F-117 is concerned. I think that's just going to be needing a fix. But on the bright side, it means that I can hear the traffic sounds that they have. We heard some uh, honk of the horn there just a sec ago, which is interesting. So we can hear the ambient sounds of the environment right now. But yeah, that's not my intention. So I'm probably not going to land this one because, uh, well, it's sad to try and land something when you can't hear the engine whine. So alright, with me flying this uh, inappropriately patriotic, considering we're in the wrong country right now, version of the F-117, I'll just wrap it up here and say thank you for watching. hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.